March after years of cold leads and wavering resources, Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison came into office and changed all that. Dogged police work, coupled with interagency coordination, led investigators straight to Hewerman, but only after an alleged killer lived unnoticed in a quiet suburb of New York City. Architect by day, murderous sex predator by night. I spoke with Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison just a few moments ago. He was somebody that uh, was brought to our attention. Uh, there were a couple of subjects that we were looking at, but uh, uh, once we uh, put the task force together and uh, brought the right people into the room uh, under the leadership of my uh, Detective Lieutenant Kevin Byer, uh, we were able to kind of narrow down on, on Mr. Hewerman and uh, attach him to the to these killers, to the uh, bodies that he killed. But before the commission really got to work, he had been somebody you were aware of. It wasn't him per se. I want to make sure that that's very clear. Um, it was the vehicle that we were looking at, not necessarily the individual. All right. You spent the weekend searching his home and a storage facility today. What were you looking for? Anything. Anything that can kind of uh, strengthen the case. Once again, it is a judicial process that's still ahead of us uh, or any other evidence that may be linked to other bodies, uh, especially on that uh, Ocean Parkway strip where we still have an ongoing investigation of six other bodies that we have to uh, continue to identify who the killer is. You, as you know, uh, serial killers mm -hmm. often keep trophies uh, from their killings. Were you looking for things like that as well? Of course, of course. Once again, is this any evidence be linked to the uh, bodies that were discovered on Ocean Parkway or anywhere uh, uh, across the country. Uh, we want to try to link it to Mr. Hurman. Um, we're, we're concerned. Uh, we don't know if these are the only ones that he uh, killed, and we want to just make sure if there's other bodies out there that uh, we have to address, uh, we attach it to him and hold him accountable as well. Yeah, that was one of the big questions I had even after <clears throat> your initial news conference on Friday. Did he stop killing in 2010? That seemed to be extraordinary that he would do that. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, and that's why we're going to go through uh, his house, his place of work, uh, any storage facilities that he has. Uh, and once again, there's a lot more work that needs to be done. But uh, there's other things that he might have been a part of when it comes to violent acts. We're going to attach it to him. You found a secret storage room in his basement with more than 200 guns. What was he doing with all that firepower? Can't say. Um, you know, that's something that uh, um, he, he himself knows only. But uh, I know he was a hunter. Um, but regarding uh, the amount of guns and uh, what he was using them for, I can't, speak, I can't speak upon that. He's married. He has two children, grown children. His daughter worked for him at his architectural firm. What was their reaction to this arrest? Are you confident they knew nothing about what he was doing? Well, I will say this. They were shocked. Um, you know, we had some of our investigators assigned to the task force uh, brief uh, the, the mother and the two kids regarding uh, what's going on and what's going to be the next steps. And uh, what, I'm, what I'm being told based upon that initial interaction, they were shocked and as well as more than likely probably very, very embarrassed. When your officer showed up to arrest Mr. Hewerman, he reportedly began to cry and say that he didn't do this. He had been obsessed with your task force and what it was doing. Um, I'm just curious what his reaction was when you showed up to his door with a warrant. So we didn't show up to his door with a warrant. What we did do is when he walked out of his place of business, we approached him and told him, Hey, listen, you're going to be under arrest. Um, you know, once again, is this there's a lot of things that uh, I could talk about regarding uh, when we grabbed him in the vicinity of 35th and 5th and transported him out here to Suffolk County headquarters. But uh, he definitely was very uh, quiet in, in the vehicle during the transport, transport back and didn't say too much regarding his role in the case. You have spared no words, Commissioner, about Rex Hewerman. You've called him a monster, a predator, and a demon who walks among us. That's right. Uh, you know, you, you see what he's done. Uh, he's ruined families. Uh, he destroyed lives. Uh, and this is somebody who needs to be held accountable and needs to go to jail for the rest of his life. Um, these are the things that law enforcement officials, this is what we have to deal with. 
Uh, I want to make sure I acknowledge the, the members of the task force that really did a phenomenal job over the last 18 months uh, putting the case together and, uh, and identifying Rick Schuerman, and now he's in custody. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.